There's a point every gardener reaches where the compost just feels slow. You turn it, you water it, you layer greens and browns, and still it seems to take months to finish, if it finishes at all. That was my situation last spring. I had a decent compost pile going, kitchen scraps, leaves, grass clippings. But after eight weeks of turning and monitoring, it still looked half done. The texture was clumpy. The smell wasn't quite right. I needed something to speed up the breakdown, not just biologically, but nutritionally. That's when I stumbled across something that completely changed the game rock dust. Specifically basalt dust, though granite dust works similarly. Now before I dive into the science and the transformation, I want to know, have you ever added rock dust to your compost pile? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious how it worked out for you. Let me walk you through exactly what happened after I added it, why it worked so quickly, and how you can use it to turn your compost into a nutrient-dense powerhouse of fertility in a fraction of the time. I had everything going for me. Well-balanced inputs, decent moisture levels, and a good location. But no matter how often I turned the pile, it wasn't reaching that rich, earthy black color that tells you it's ready. The smell was fine. Not foul, but not quite sweet either. And while the outer edges were breaking down, the center was sluggish. That's when I read about adding mineral rock dust to compost. Unlike fertilizers, rock dust doesn't directly feed the plants, it feeds the soil ecosystem. It contains dozens of trace minerals that are missing from many soils and compost piles. And here's what got my attention. When added to compost, it not only enriches the final product but actually accelerates the composting process itself by supporting microbial life. So I gave it a shot. I dusted a generous layer of basalt rock dust over the surface of the pile before a turn, making sure it mixed in evenly. I watered it lightly and walked away. What happened over the next two weeks blew me away. Within three days the compost pile's internal temperature spiked. It hit nearly 140 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to tell me the microbes were back in action and thriving. That's one of the hidden powers of rock dust. It provides the trace minerals that microbes need to function at full speed. Minerals like calcium, magnesium, iron, and manganese don't just help plants later, they help bacteria and fungi do their job now. And it's not just about heat. When I turned the pile after a week, I noticed the texture had changed. The clumps were softer. The fibrous plant material had broken down more evenly. The smell was now deep and earthy. The kind of smell you get from a healthy forest floor, it wasn't just decomposing, it was transforming. By day 14, the compost was nearly finished. It was dark, fluffy, and smelled like rich humus. What would normally take six to eight weeks in warm weather had happened in half the time. That deep black color, that's not just organic matter breaking down, that's carbon complexing with minerals. When microbes digest organic material, they don't just create humus. They also bind it to minerals in the environment, creating stable compounds that resist erosion and feed soil life over the long term. Rock dust acts like a scaffold for these reactions. The result is compost that isn't just nutrient-rich. It's mineral-balanced. That matters more than people think. Most modern soils are depleted of trace elements thanks to years of over-farming, over-watering, or chemical inputs. When you add mineralized compost to your garden, you're not just giving your plants NPK. You're giving them the micronutrients that power enzymes, protein synthesis, and cellular function. And you can feel the difference. The finished compost was almost silky in texture. It held water beautifully, didn't clump, and when I spread it into my raised beds, I didn't need to add anything else. So, uh, two weeks after top dressing my lettuce and kale beds with the mineral rich compost, I saw undeniable changes. The leaves were darker, more resilient, growth was noticeably faster, even the flavor improved, less bitterness, more depth. And, you know, I noticed something I hadn't seen in months. Earthworms started migrating toward the beds, not because I added them, but because the soil had become a worm magnet. 
That's what happens when your compost doesn't just feed plants but supports the entire soil food web. From microbes to fungi to worms, everything thrives when minerals are in balance. You don't need much to get results. I used about 1 to 2 pounds of basalt dust per cubic yard of compost. You can sprinkle it in layers as you build the pile, or just dust it in during a turn. Make sure to keep the pile moist but not soggy. Moisture helps the minerals integrate faster and makes them more available to microbes. Some gardeners also mix rock dust with compost tea before adding it to the pile, helping infuse the minerals into the liquid brew. But even dry application works wonders. If you're using granite dust, it'll work similarly. Just note that basalt tends to have a slightly higher trace mineral content. Either way, you're giving your compost a critical boost that many piles lack, especially if your inputs are mostly kitchen waste or straw-heavy materials. Compost is already gold for gardeners, but when you turn it into mineral-rich humus, you're creating a resource that can transform your entire garden from the ground up. Rock dust might sound like an odd ingredient, but it taps into ancient soil wisdom. Healthy soil needs more than just nitrogen and carbon. It needs the full spectrum of Earth's natural elements. Adding it to my compost pile not only sped up the process but also improved the quality of everything that followed. The results weren't subtle, they were dramatic, and all it took was one small addition, made at the right time. If you've been struggling with slow compost or nutrient-poor results, try this out and see the difference for yourself. And if you found this guide helpful, please like this video, subscribe to Hydrohaven, and share it with a fellow gardener who's ready to level up their compost game. We're all building better soil together, one handful at a time.